Miller greetings Tubians. We are back, 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 back in Reseteer and Item Shop Tail. Uh, let's just load that through. I really do need to try hooking up my controller to this. I have been advised it's a lot easier to play with a controller than it is the way I've been doing it. Alright, and we're at morning time. Right, let's go do some stuff. And I've completely forgotten what I was wanting to do. That's okay, that's okay. While I work myself out, let's have a look at what's available. Not a lot. I wonder if I should just... I can just sell stuff here, can't I? Hmm. Haven't really tried that yet, have we? Um. Alright, basically we're looking just for some... Food type items for healing purposes in the dungeon. Because uh, we're going to go run the same dungeon again. Ah, they're selling all of the things that have been sold to me. That should hopefully do us. So let's X out. And... Head to the Adventurers Guild. Hey, Louie! Um, didn't we sell you a better sword? Okay. Um. How do I do this again? This is why you should not take such long gaps in games. Yeah, what well, that will do us. This dungeon wasn't that hard. Yeah, we'll go to Jade Way later, but for now we will just redo this one for some basics. We've got to make 30k on this particular run. Oh, I have been told as well the little gems and jewels are experience and health. That's why we didn't really get anything out of their existence last time. Hey, sandals! We can sell those. We can absolutely sell those. Just while I am running around murdering random slimes, did everybody catch the amazing Nintendo Direct? One sword plus four. Nice. It uh, definitely is farming sim season in the US or Japan or whoever it is that makes those decisions. And we are going to see a lot, a lot of fun games coming up. I'm really looking forward to Story of Seasons of Wonderful Life. It's one of the few Harvest Moon games I never got to play because I didn't really get into the whole GameCube era due to reasons. And as a result of that, missed out because the PlayStation 2 copy was just stupid. Uh, plus we'll have Room Factory 3 uh, special on the Switch, which will be great. Have to run Room Factory 4 on the channel at some point as well. So it's going to be a very, very busy couple of months. And just looking for a little bit of feedback, would you guys like to, or would you guys prefer that I just focus on one game at a time? Or are you happy to see me playing multiple different types of games all at the same time? Let me know um, what what sort of format you like. Um, also, as a heads up, I've got a few things going on in that whole horrible reality place that none of us like going to, and we all try and avoid. Um, which means that I might continue being a little bit inconsistent for the next week or two with my posting schedule. And I am sorry to everybody for that. If if I can stay to the three days a week, I'll definitely be trying. Um, but we've got a few things going on that might just prohibit that. So... Eh. Die, little slimes. Close plus two. Getting some good stuff for selling. We've got our rival to worry about now as well. Just a green. Louie. Louie. Oh, I was told that I've been missing 
There's sort of a special attack button that I haven't been using, so let's try that on this red slime if I can get close enough without dying. Ah! It's a big super slash, okay. And this way we haven't gone yet. Don't really have a goal here except to pick up as much stuff as I physically can. To sell without dying would be nice. Maybe get Louie up a couple of levels, because yeah, it's always handy to have a strong adventurer working your sales table. I'm sure that we'll be able to pick up other adventurers over time, but for now, Louie is our guy. And we want to make sure that we get the most out of him. Oh, great! Are you guys going to form some sort of weird uber slime? I am not doing very well today. There we go. Alright, now how did I get into the bag again? Uh, items, use, okay, that'll do it. Don't want to spend too, too much money. Oh, what is it with all the falling rocks this time? It also increased the number of red slimes. I wonder if that's level based or if it's because it's my second run through. I'm not going to worry about picking up all of the slime bits because we haven't really worked out where to use those and they don't sell that well. Uh, there's our portal down and that covers this entire floor. Okay, I 100% agree with you. Oh, you guys. I remember you. Yeah, that's right. I wonder what happens if Louis dies. Hey, Bo. Yeah, I don't want Louis to die, but the way I'm playing right now, it's going to happen. So many slimes. better. I really need some health gems to drop. Ah, thank you for dropping health gems. Yeah, take that, mister. They've really increased the number of traps and stuff, which is kind of cool, actually. wouldn't want it to be too easy. Hey, level up! Which gets his full health again. Do 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 do. Hmm. All right. So, one we've answered the question as to whether or not these are procedurally generated. Yes, they are. Uh, still not worried about that slime. Where was the downy thing there? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, another sword. Dagger, sorry. What is that? Some sort of mystery ingredient. Gotta watch our bag space too, because we don't want to be wasting bag space. Die, slime, die. Die, slime, die. Got dab for the dragon? You must be fairly high level. Oh, I am also remembering ah wee wibbly things. That there is a place in town that we have not yet been. 
that I would like to hit today. So that'll be an evening event or a night event. Ah! Clearly, I've been playing way too much Fire Emblem Warriors, Three Hopes, Houses, whichever one it is. Alright. Let us eat. Oh, actually, I want to keep that orange. Let's eat the beef bowl. Yeah, that makes Louie happy. Louie, you're expensive. I could have gotten like, 3,000 picks for that beef bowl. Mystery ingredients. Another dead end. I don't remember there being this many dead ends down corridors the first time we came through. Were there? Nah, probably not. I'll be honest, after the day it's been just randomly beating stuff up, it's fun. Oh, I love apples. Louie, hit the guy. Thank you. Pick up that orange. Maybe it was because I was more cautious the first time through. Oh, of course there's more freaking slimes. Yeah, that got chis. Alright, so the big attacks are good for when you're surrounded, noted. Weird cactus wibbly pasta thing. <laughs> Louis, my dude, I'm going to need you to get your act together. Go get you a better sword. Well, that was a waste. Yay, clothes! Oh, leather armor. Louie, I think you were wearing leather armor, weren't you? When did you respawn? Right, this should be the last floor, yep. There's our magic door, so that should give us a few things to sell, which is great. And now let's hit the pub. See what the pub does for us. Hey, hey, Tear! Mm, what is it? Why are adventurers in the pub so often? Do they all like alcohol that much? Well, adventurers certainly do enjoy their liquid pleasure. But a pub like this also handles quests for adventurers. Therefore, many of the people here are looking for work. Isn't that kind of stuff handled by the Adventurers Guild? The Guild does also handle some quests, but remember, you can only hire a Guild Adventurer if you possess the Guild card of that person, assuming they have one at all. Therefore, places like this tend to offer a different kind of quest, more daily run-of-the-mill business, if you will. Clients do not pay as much as guild-sponsored ones, but this sort of place is also far friendlier to rookies. However, if the request is too simple or moronic, it is likely no one will ever even attempt to do it. Look, the requests are posted up there on the wall. Let us have a look, shall we? Uh, let's see. Please find my last kitty. Can I hire someone to stand in a ticket line for me? Please kill ten crows around a garbage dump. Green item offered. Can one of you hot studs be my... Oh, wow, there's quite a variety. While it's true that they are often used as glorified handymen, in a way this sort of thing is a sign of how much adventurers have blended into the daily life of this city. That's true. 
Hey, actually, we should do this quest. I mean, I'd love to have someone find their kitty. Uh, no. I'm afraid we cannot. While anyone can post a request, only those registered with the Adventurer's Guild can legally take on such requests. So I'm afraid we cannot do anything listed here. Ah, that's a bummer. It is actually. So can we post requests at the pub? Day over. We lost money. But we still exceeded expectations. I, I have no idea how those rankings work. Oh, news. The price of candy is increased. Okay. Hey, hey, Tia. What was that just now? Ah, that, that was a news flash. Important events are reported on for everyone in the city. That was a sudden jump in candy prices. So, if you are buying or selling candy, pay close attention to that. Sudden jump? In other words, sudden scarcity has driven up the price of candy. In general, that means the prices will roughly double. So a candy that sold for 300 picks may now sell for 600. Wait a minute. So candy is going to cost a ton of money for the rest of time? That's terrible! How am I going to survive? Wait. I'll buy all the candy in the city and keep it for myself. Well, maybe I'll share or sell a little. But it is candy. Ahem. <clears throat> no prices will stabilize after some time passes. Precisely how long, however, no one could ever say for sure. For once, however, you have hit upon a good point. While it can be hard to predict price fluctuations, if you keep a fairly wide variety of stock handy, it is possible to take advantage of a situation like this and make money hand over fist. You could also try to take advantage of the situation after news comes in. Of course, it is harder to really make a profit that way. Uh, this is complicated and now I'm hungry. Well, it is quite a bit to take in at once. So let us see it in action, shall we? Hey, yay, another tutorial! Ah, the news again! Watch carefully, this information could be vital. Right! Louis the Swordsman bounced to check at local cafe. Now on the lamb. Ah, oh, Louis. Ah. Uh, and sometimes the news is like that. <laughs> oh, for some people it's sure vital. Run, Louis, run! Alright, let's put out some of those things that the check bouncing Louis helped us get. Maybe I should have put candy in the window. I do have one. Really glad I picked that up now. There we go. Um, put down some orange. Uh, a rusty dagger. Uh, I think I'm gonna ditch those statues because they're just not selling. Wooden bow. And some clothes. Right, that should get us started. Ah, my greatest nemesis, little girl. Yes, I will sell things at you. Nice. You just... You didn't... What's going on? Little girls never take my first offer. Hey, Guildmaster. Um... Yay! Thank you! I really need to get some bigger ticket items. Looking for something special? Ooh, a rusty dagger. That's something every little old guy should have. Fine, a bit less. Hey, a love hut! I still don't know what those mean. 
There seems to be a great deal this game never actually tells you. Okay, so we sold our one candy. Put out a letter armor. A wool hat. Some summer sandals. Alright, let's go. Today we're just selling. Sell, 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 sell. What can I get you? A treasure. Nobody has ever bought one of these. Let's be a little... Let's start with the 130. You want it down just a hair. Let's try 500. Oh my god, we actually sold one! Thank you, little old man. Glee is darn right. If I want a bracelet, what would be good? I don't think I have anything that even vaguely resembles a bracelet. I had nothing. I can try and sell you an orange. Yeah, because little girls suck. Hey! Yes, I can sell you some food. You can have a warm up bread. There you go, Louie. No bounce checks here. Oh, hey, level up. <laughs> You've been looking for a hat? I suppose the weather is actually here in my part of the world. It's warming up. <laughs> um, so, probably not so much weather for a wool hat, but... Alright, what else we got that we can put out? Rusty dagger. Let's put out a powerful anti venom. Change walls? No. We'll look at that later. Those rusty daggers are really gone with these little old guys. I suppose it's light and easy to use. Alright, Louie, because I love you. Let's go 110%. You gotta keep me alive in the dungeons, though. Hey there! No, I don't have any books. I'm gonna need to buy some books, aren't I? I wonder if those requests are, are related to things we'll find in the next dungeon. Um, Alright, so we might... Yay! Glee. Oh no, I got got it right. It was yay. Alright, do we have anything else we can showcase out at the moment? Put out the cherry. Put out the takiyaki. Put out the orange. I think this is, yeah, this is our last sales period. So tomorrow morning we're going to go hit up the next dungeon. To get a weapon. How about a wooden bow? Well, you know, if your wife wants you to have it, clearly it's to keep the family safe. It really is that much. But for you, it's that much. I would never survive in this world. More than you can afford, sir. That's my goldfish. Really? 
people are doing me out of house and home. You realize that I have a killer fairy who's after money living in my house. Mr. Guildmaster? Well, that's a good price for an orange. Thank you, sir. And that was a plus four orange, man. Why are you buying clothes, Louie? You wear heavy. Hey, we got a love heart with Louie. What does that do? Good night. Decent amount of profit. Now. Oh, news. The price of heavy armor has decreased. The price of candy has normalized. The initiative to rename egg toast lunch bread is gaining strength. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's awesome. Ah, uh, the Adventurer's Guild is closed. Alright, what day is it? Um, alright, what can we do with that? Hmm. Because we want the guild to be open, because that's where... Alright. Let's get some cheap books. <laughs> um, grab a beef bowl or two, and we'll grab some candy. Oh, hey, that's how I do that, right. Out of stock of medicines, we're not buying any flooring or walling right now. Still don't have anything that could be used as a bracelet. So we'll go check the Adventurer's Guild, because I think they had like some armbands or something. What's happening in the town square? Hey, Louie! Yes? No? Make up your mind? Are you trying to hunt down a pigeon? Huh? That's Louie! What in the name of heaven is he searching for over there? Hey, let's go ask! Why do I get the feeling that I would much rather not get involved? Because you're sensible, dear. Hello, Louie! Oh, reset! Tia, what's up? What are you doing wandering around here? Oh, uh, I got hungry, so I decided to take a look and see if I could find some edible grasses or herbs or something. Are you that broke? Why... This does not surprise me in the slightest. But, uh, I'm not sure which of these is edible, you see. Louie, if you eat that, you're st you'll blow up your stomach. You can eat those, but they taste best if you clean them. Now, the plants are the soft leaves at the east end of the plaza. They taste the best. You should try them. How is it that you know so much about edible plants? Especially the ones located here, of all places. <laughs> Thanks a ton, Reset. I owe you again. No problem. Remember to wash what you find. Why do I feel as though that is the least of his concerns? I suppose she has been living alone with no income for a while. Oh, we could sell that for a lot. And it's going to cost us a lot. Um. Oh. Trying to balance this out, all out is possibly the biggest challenge in this game. Tough clothes, thick robe, shell chest piece. Oh, they're priced down, so if I buy them now and sell them later, we will make more money. I guess armbands could be worn as a bracelet, maybe? Alright, well let's start off with some 
armor, which we're not going to sell right away. Uh, how come we don't get to haggle with people when we're buying stuff? Alright, we'll do that. We'll sell those at a later date. Um, grab an iron spear. And... We'll get a crafter's knife. Because the, the little old guys have been buying a lot of knives off us, so... Okay, we don't have any swords. More required. Okay. I guess we'll work it out. Let's go sell some stuff. This will probably be our last day for today's episode. Let's sell the crafter's knife. The iron spear. We're not selling the armor. Let's have Les in Fortunes and Le Pinchia. My French is not great. I don't suppose I have a scarf. No, I don't actually. I got an unthankful statue. Yeah, I did. I just don't have anything. Sorry, Louis. You could use a treasure. I could use with getting rid of a treasure. Great, now I need you to actually pay for it. Oh. I just want to go on, and you know what? Ah, that recovers pretty much everything we spent today, so... Yes, you can. Yes, I can. Hey, a heart! Yay! Maybe hearts mean I can gouge them more? I mean... Sell to them at better prices. The price of weapons has decreased. Will the legendary ban on walnut bread fishing be lifted soon? Okay, so... Let's replace that with a chestnut. And a powerful anti-venom. And we've got no other weapons out. Good, because I don't want to lose money on those. Hello, everybody. Oh, I can. Right now, it's... Oh. Louie. He's absolutely making my life difficult. Here you go. Yes, it really is that much, Louie. I am taking such a loss on that. Hey, yes, you can buy my chestnut. Thank you, sir. Alright, halfway to goal. I am glad you were looking for that, sir. This is a costly cherry. You're right, that is a ridiculous price for a cherry. How about that? I feel guilty if I oversell, and I know that these are cartoon characters. The price of sweets has decreased. Ugh. From cradles to graves, big bashes, everything you'll ever need. 
You're doing this to me on purpose, aren't you, Karen? Alright, well, I don't really have any sweets out at the moment. Oh, apples count as sweets? I, did, I didn't realize fruit ranked as a sweet. Thank you, game. Thank you, Guildmaster. At least you're reasonable. Basically, everything I'm selling is crashing. What do you mean you can't accept that price? You risked your life for that orange, sir. Yes, there is. You can turn it into that much money. We'll be able to sell that later. Alright, I think we are going to call that for a day unless there's a tutorial first thing in the morning, which... Well done! Alright, so we had a day where I didn't sell anything, I just spent a bunch of money and that was exceeding expectations. Today I sold an entire bunch of stuff. But I only get a well done. This game is confusing. In a good way, I kind of enjoy it. Today's news. The price of accessories has increased. The price of armor has normalized. Recent actions by the Chapel Masters have left citizens worried. Well, that was silly of the Chapel Masters. How frequently are we going to get news events? Alright, so we've got three days left to double our current haul. We can absolutely 100% do this. But it's not going to happen in tonight's episode. So, next time we're going to go hit up that new dungeon. We're going to see what goodies lie within its walls. And hopefully we're going to make a decent profit. Until then, capitalism ho! This is Ronan Tia signing off. I'll catch you in the next one.